kind of like a temporary setup or it could be permanently you never know so i'm going to build one more of these stands i've got the materials to build these to build one more of these and it's going to go on the end over here all right i got my parts prepped to make one more of these frames i've had these parts sitting there for a year or more i've been at it over here for a few days I gotta put one more bread. I had to go get a couple more two by fours. I was using up everything I could scrape up here. And so I got some more in the truck now. And then I got three bags of sand, six panels here, putting two more panels here. This is about finished. I did this yesterday. So I'll have 12 panels to start with 1,020 watts. I found these panels on Craigslist. I don't know, it's been about five years ago now at uh, I think it was like 45 cents a watt super industrial and they're 60 volts that's what I like made in Malaysia 85 watts open circuit voltage 61 volts so that's what I run this that's how I get my 240 so it's a gloomy day Saturday morning cool not too bad but it's gonna clear up perfect. I don't know when I'll have this wired up. <laughs> that wire fit perfect in there. I like it. It's gonna be way out of the heat, way over here. I don't see I don't see a problem. I checked the resistance. I'm getting about 29 ohms. So it's gone up. I think it was 26. 29.7 ohms, 28, whatever, 29.78. So the, I'm gonna put solar ends on it. They work perfect. So I'm just putting the negative at the top, which it don't matter. Look how nicely these fit. That's a number eight high temperature wire. It's a nice real industrial crimp with that little crimper. Snaps right in and just screws down. It's got this little seal. Really nice, well-made little connectors. There we go. Okay, that took quite a few hours. As far as I know, it's all ready to go. I just gotta plug it in. All the wires are done. We've got wires everywhere. So I'm gonna double check everything and what I'm gonna do is plug in the oven first, the heater first, and then start plugging the panels in. Phase one, this is just a temporary. I'm gonna get this all through in the wall and all that, but hopefully that's gonna be okay for now. I'm gonna put the rest of the sand in here. It's working. See how hot it, I just got it plugged in not long ago. It's almost too hot to touch. Slowly rising, it was 21.5, now it's 21.6. late in the day tomorrow will be there's 21 7 it's tomorrow will be the day to start getting some good data sun's still fairly high in the sky about three o'clock so i got a little bit of testing again running at 1020 watts 230 volts dc straight off the solar panels sand battery test number one One thousand and twenty watts, 
If I have to add the other 1,020, I will. I'm hoping I don't. But this is a lot of mass. So we'll see. Topped off. The temperature is rising. It was 21 something Celsius. 23.5 now. Yeah, I can use all this sand too. But I can always use the extra sand. See, you can see here there's, there's no damage. So it doesn't look burnt or anything. Look, the coil's in perfect condition. After one year and eight 